The organization is called the Wong People Kung Fu Association, and it's an organization started back in 1985. It started with me. Uh, I studied Kung Fu for a number of years, and uh, after my instructor passed away, I wanted to continue it. So I started the organization with myself and a few of my Kung Fu brothers. We weren't interested in really starting a Kung Fu business. We were just interested in uh, practicing Kung Fu and just maintaining the teachings and staying active in it and continue to learn. So from that, we started this organization. We actually started a school, nonprofit. We do have a studio across the street, but the space is very small. This way we can practice our weapons. Kung Fu is based on Taoist principles. A little bit on Buddhism, but not so much, but mostly Taoist principles, balance, yin and yang. So Kung Fu is based on balance. In this case, balancing the mind and the body to do what it can do in a self-defense situation or, or any situation. Picking up something heavy, moving something, getting out of the way of something, you can actually apply it to daily life. Our particular style is called Jiao Ga. It's a style developed in southern China and it's medium to short range movements. Not a whole lot of kicking, not a whole lot of moving around. And we also teach Tai Chi, that's another style of Kung Fu, and that's known for its soft, subtle movements. Commercial Kung Fu is based on what you see on TV because what prompts you to go buy something is based on what you see on TV or in the movies. You compromise on the discipline because you don't want to make it too hard. You make it too hard, they'll quit. So you gotta, gotta have to make it easy for them. If you make it kind of easy and just kind of tease everybody along, then they'll stay, they'll keep paying. You make everybody feel good because uh, you may not have accomplished a lot, but you make it seem like they accomplished a whole lot. So it's more or less uh, appeases one's ego and make you feel like you're doing something, that's commercial. Non-commercial is pretty much passing on the teaching. The teaching may be difficult, but you have to pass along because that's what it is. You don't really care about watering it down to make it seem easier. We have to have a certain amount of commercial because we live in a commercial society. At the same time, we don't want to lose the art. We have to strike a balance, you know? a balance of commercial and art. The biggest mis misperception is martial arts is about fighting. It's not really about fighting, it's about studying fighting so that you can know how to avoid fighting. Because in order to study to defend against your enemy, you have to know how your en enemy operates. So we study violence to keep away from violence. Asian culture is one of the oldest cultures around, and, uh, and, it's, and you can find it pretty much anywhere in the world, no matter what country you're in. Asian uh, culture is part of our lifestyle, we can't get away from it.
for many people, they come in after watching a movie or a TV show, and they come in looking for that. And some of them, they do quit after a month or two, because it's not what they expected. And most of them, when they realize what it's really about, and they feel that, well, this is really beneficial for me, it's not about the movie thing anymore, then a lot of those people tend to stay. It's a mixed demographic. We have scientists, to lawyers, to politicians, kids, seniors, we got them all. The class has been here for years and it's free. I don't know why more people don't take advantage of it. I live right around the corner, so it's no excuse for me. I like to read, and I did a lot of reading on Tai Chi, and I have a rheumatoid arthritis. I turn 60 next month, so I decided that it was about time to get up and do some exercise. I had a little pain in my mind and back, and already it has improved already. Late last year, I was diagnosed as, ha as having arthritis of my hip. Uh, the first doctor, orthopedic doctor I went to, suggested surgery, which I wasn't interested in. I went to a rheumatologist, and he suggested stem cell replacement. But before I took that route, I wanted to check out Tai Chi, because I had heard a lot about how that helps arthritis patients. I've noticed just after the class that my hip doesn't hurt as bad. I was told that it causes your blood to circulate, which would decrease the pain. I've been practicing Kung Fu since February of 2008, a little over two years. Definitely as a kid, I thought it was cool. I was a big Bruce Lee fan, Into the Dragon. Bruce Lee did a lot of cool stuff. But as I started practicing, I realized that it wasn't as cool as I thought it was. It was a lot of hard work and dedication. It's the constant practice, the repetition over and over and over again, day after day, you get better. You see the results. My form has improved. I've noticed that I'm in better shape. Although I'm slim, I was out of shape before I started, and now I'm in much better shape. I think Kung Fu is a lifetime endeavor, and I plan on practicing Kung Fu for as long as I can.